Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we'll have a discussion of the first semester BCom BBA Generic English May June 2022 examination question paper. And this question paper belongs to Bangalore North University. And the students of BU, that is Bangalore University students, can also consider this question paper as a practice paper because the BNU and BU have the same syllabus and have the same QP pattern, have the same question paper pattern. So both the university students can make the usage of the each other, uh, make the usage of both the university's question paper as a practice paper. So as usual, you know very well that the duration for the examination will be two hours, 30 minutes. And the maximum marks you have here 60. So this is a 60 marks question paper. 2 hours 30 minutes examination and this question paper belongs to BNU Bangalore North University. BU students, you can use this question paper as a practice paper. Before that, let's have a glance at the uh, at the syllabus. We should know what's the syllabus here. So we have two important units, receptive skills and the productive skills in the part one. That is for the workbook and workbook has the weightage for, for the 40 marks. The question paper has 40, 60 marks weightage and the part one workbook has a weightage for 40 marks and the course book has only 20 marks. So in the unit one, you will find here scheming, scanning, then academic reading, uh, applications, emails, then active passive listening, job interviews, conversations, comprehensive listening. In the unit two, you will find here performance activity, role play, extempo, group discussion, Introducing oneself, giving information, giving instructions, phrases, clauses, tenses, concord, subject verb agreement, idioms and phrases, and speech writing, welcome speech writing, word of thanks writing, giving introduction of any of the person. So this is about the workbook portion and the course book syllabus you have here. Uh, five important chapters, Last Leaf by O. Henry, All Creatures Great and Small by Ruskin Bond. Heart of the Tree by H.C. Burner, Daughter Lata Jaktiani, and My Teacher by Helen Keller. So this is the, about your syllabus. Now let's move on to the, let's have a discussion of the question paper. Section A, that's workbook, which has the weightage for 40 marks, very scoring paper, scoring question paper, guys. The question number one. You need to read the passage. That's called scheme the passage. You need to scheme the passage and you need to give the appropriate answer. So you need to read the passage like this. So there are nearly as many temples as there are houses and many idols as inhabitants here. Not being a fountain or a river or a hill within its limits that is not consecrated to one or the other of the Hindu or Buddhist deities wrote a foreigner a long time ago Important places to visit in Kathmandu include the Darbar Square, the Pashupati Nath Temple, the Swayambhu Nath Stupa and the Buddha Nath uh, Stupa. In addition, most tourists to Kathmandu rave about the Himalayan mountain flight, which is now one of, the, one of Nepal's big attractions. So we have here two options. Which option? One option is here, this article is about visitor's guide to Kathmandu. Second is here, this is a critical writing about Kathmandu. So which is the best uh, option you find here? Best option you find here? This question is for two marks. So answer is here, this article is about visitor's guide to Kathmandu. This is the appropriate answer. So that's called skimming two marks question. Then you have here scanning. You need to scan the passage. You need to read the passage very thoroughly and you need to answer the questions here. There will be given, there, there will be two questions. For example, you can look at your screen and you can pause the video and you can read this passage and you can find the answers of these two questions. So you'll be given here two questions based on the passage. So skimming, scanning, four marks. Moving ahead, you have questions from the references, uh, from the referencing skills. So there's a question here, give any two examples of reference sources. That's question for two marks. So you have here bibliography, journals, articles, indexes, atlas. So you have so many reference sources and out of these two, uh, two out of the, those so many sources, you can mention here any two. 
next question you need to write a cover letter for the post of sales manager in university press publishing company bangalore so cover letter writing is for five marks so let's go through the format the very first it is the sender's address you find here who is sender manish his house number number 15 six cross magri road bangalore 23 date 1st february 2024 who is the receiver? The HR, University Press Publishing House, Bangalore. Then salutation, dear sir or madam. Subject application for the post of sales manager. So what, what are the components of cover letter writing? Send us, let, send us address, then the date. The date should be written in a very proper format. Don't write FEB, don't write JN. There's no short form. There's no short forms of any of the month. Write the full month's name and without any comma. Then receiver's address, the designation and the receiver's address. Salutation, <clears throat> dear sir, madam. Subject, application for the post of sales manager. Up next, you have here body of the letter. So I have tried to give a very simple answer. Not I have not made it quite complicated one. You can add more information if you would like to add here. With reference to advertisement published in the Times of India dated 31st January 2024, I would like to apply for the post of sales manager in your company. What's my qualification? I'm MBA in marketing with two years of work experience in the sales field. Now, what are the extra uh, abilities or the credentials do I have? I have exceptional communication skills in English, Kannada and Hindi. At present, I'm working as a regional sales manager at Cambridge University Press Bangalore unit and I have enclosed my CV for further information, for further details. Thank you for your time and consideration. Yours faithfully, Manish. Enclosure, copy of CV. So you can see here, after the body of the letter, thanking note, then we have here complimentary close. That's called yours faithfully. There's no apostrophe S in yours. There's no comma after faithfully. So this is called block format, which is very much, which is quite uh, punctuation free to some extent. So now we are moving to the next question. So cover letter is for five marks. Next question we have here, <clears throat> uh, name any two types of listening, uh, two marks question from the listening and listening skills, active listening, deep listening, critical listening, therapeutic listening, passive listening. So like this, you can mention any two types of listening. Next question, Prepare a writer for GD, the group discussion on so-and-so topic, COVID-19. That's for three marks. So now how to do it? Uh, many students have the doubt that how to do it. You need to imagine that there should be one moderator and uh, four or five participants. So you can write here the moderator. How does the moderator begin the group discussion and which are the dialogues or the talk by each participant? So I have tried to give you a sample answer. You can add your own answer as well. Moderator, welcome everyone to today's group discussion on COVID-19. Let's start by sharing our thoughts on how the pandemic has affected our lives. Participant one, hi everyone. For me, COVID-19 has completely changed how I work and interact with others. Working from home has become the new norm and while it has its perks, I do miss the face-to-face -face collaboration with my colleagues. Participant 2. I agree. Remote work has its challenges, especially when it comes to maintaining the work-life balance. And don't even get me started on the endless video calls. Participant 3. Speaking of challenges, let's not forget the toll on mental health. The isolation and uncertainty brought on by the pandemic have really taken a toll on many people's well-being. Moderator says, absolutely. Mental health is a crucial aspect to consider. How have you been coping with these challenges? Participant 4 says, personally, I have been trying to stay connected with friends and family through virtual meetups and phone calls. It's not the same as seeing them in person, but it helps. Participant 5. I have been focusing on self-care activities like meditation and exercise to help manage stress and, and, and anxiety. It's important to prioritize our mental health during these challenging times. Moderator. 
those are great strategies let's shift our focus to the healthcare aspect how do you think healthcare systems have responded to the pandemic so friends this is how you need to write the group discussion write up in such a manner though it's for 3 marks so you can you don't go beyond this length of the answer you need to give the, the you need to give the equal weightage of time to each and every question so this is how gd4 3 marks now you have the questions from language functions how to introduce how to ask for the in inquiry how to give instructions so introduce your yourself to the principal of your college introduce i'm sorry introduce your mother to the principal of of your college question for two marks good morning sir please meet my mother mrs sheila so when you are writing these language functions uh, punctuation plays very important role plus how do you introduce your uh, your your friend or somebody to the elders or to the junior so you need to remember those language functions what inquiry would you make in the following situations you have here two situations two marks you want to go to kurk you are in bus terminal how would you ask excuse me sir i am getting difficulty in finding the kurk bus could you please help me to locate the bus which goes to kurk could you please tell me on which platform i can get the bus for the kurk for kurk next you as a cr of the class want to prepone english class with your english teacher good morning sir i am the cr of section a third sem first semester bcom we have inter class tournament post lunch could you please prepone our english session so this is how you are getting here two marks each in the language functions then the next one you have here give a set of instructions on how to change the gas cylinder four marks very important question four marks close the regulator shut off wall and gas cylinder shut off wall by turning the knobs clockwise disconnect the gas line from the regulator open the gas regulator shut off wall by turning the knob counter clockwise turn the regulator control knob clockwise to open and vent any remaining ga gas so what I, uh, what i would say here the answer differ from person differs from person to person you need to think only uh, you need to keep in one thing in your mind that your instruction should start with a verb close shut switch put you know these are the main verbs you should start with the main verbs don't use any kind of long sentences or any uh, paragraphs together write in the key points for example turn on the fan switch on the fan like this you need to write here this is for four marks then so i would say here the language functions have the weightage for eight marks here two marks introduction two marks inquiry and four marks for instructions very scoring eight out of eight you can receive now you we we uh, sorry now you have here basic grammar or i would say remedial grammar you need to underline the infinitive phrases now understand what is infinitive phrases if the verb is followed by the infinitive to and next to to if it is a verb it's called here infinitive if you say to market it's not infinitive because after to you will get here noun market is noun but here you have question number one you have very less time to prepare so after two you are getting here after two what is this prepare is a verb prepare is a verb so we'll call it as a infinitive phrase i need an extra pen to write after two you find here write w r i t it's a verb we'll call it as a infinitive phrase so you copy the sentence underline it you'll be getting here two out of two marks next question you have here clause dependent clause and independent clause i have a friend who owns rolls royce okay so what is independent clause here i have a friend so if you remove who owns a rolls royce rolls royce okay if any pronunciation wrong of any of the bike please excuse me uh, i have a friend so this statement is enough to make your answer or to make to make your statement proper or the fulfill or the complete statement even you can you can have the answer you can have the meaning of your statement without this statements we call it as a infinity independent clause which is not depending who owns a rolls royce it's a depending clause you are not getting any kind of meaning only by this phrase here 
so you need to write the answer in such a manner if you don't eat well it's a dependent clause it's again a very incomplete statement you will fall sick that's it that is itself is a complete sentence in itself so we will call it as a independent clause so this is how you'll be getting here two out of two marks now tenses english for four years she has been teaching not she am teaching so very much obvious answer has been teaching present perfect continuous we have lived in bangalore for four years for 10 years right tenses for two marks then subject verb agreement the cost of the watch is 10000 rupees not r is 10000 rupees now here principal the principal eh, as well as the staff see here there are two nouns and both nouns are very much uh, specific the principal with the article the the staff with the article the so when in the second one if the second noun is followed by the article the here that means to say these are the two nouns so obviously two nouns means two subjects so we'll say here have arrived suppose this the is not mentioned here then we'll say here has arrived i hope you understood time and tight waits for none so such phrases we use as a singular economics there are few subjects which uh, look like plural but they are sing singular mathematics economics so they are singular su singular noun and they always carry with the uh, singular helping verb so i have done the videos on all the topics of your first semester bcom workbook and textbook if you just have a glance in the description box of this video friends you'll get all the links all the links of all the videos of your first semester bcom bba generic english any B syllabus, either you belong to BU, Bangalore University, or, or you belong to Bangalore North University. Both have the same syllabus. Or you can also see the playlist on my channel. Now, fill up the blanks with the correct idioms. So you have beat around the bush, by the skin of your teeth, miss the boat. So first question, you don't beat around the bush to point to the point. Uh, don't beat around the bush. Uh, sorry, you don't beat around the bush. Come to the point directly. She forgot to fill the fees. Now she will miss the boat. So these are the questions here. Now, next question after discussing the remedial grammar, we have the last question. We have the last question for, from the workbook. The inauguration of business club is to be held in your college on January 15th. You are asked to give a welcome speech. So this, this comes from the speech writing, welcome speech, word of thanks, introduction of somebody, five marks question. So uh, there are so many drafts. You can also write in your own words, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to each and everybody. So you can go through the script here. You can also go through my videos on how to draft a speech. So that's going to help you a lot. You can pause the video and you can go through the speech. So what are the main key points here that you, first of all, you welcome everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, right? Say on which occasion you are speaking, then you welcome each, then say the importance of the occasion. Then you mention, then you welcome one by one, all the guests here. Afterwards, you thank everybody or you welcome everybody. So that's about the welcome speech. So this is how we I have this we have discussed here the 40 marks questions from the workbook. Remember, first year students, you have Bogenza here. You'll be getting best marks if you do 40, if you get a 40 out of 40, and you won't get this um, opportunity in the third and the fourth semester. Remember, now the next section we have here, course book. You have five chapters in the slide two. I have told you those those are the syllabus. Five chapters we have, and the course book has the weightage for how many marks? Twenty marks. So you have here uh, two marks, five questions, and uh, five marks, two questions, two marks, five questions, and five marks, two questions. There is no ten marks questions in this question paper. So out of seven questions for the two marks, you are going to attempt only five. So first question. What was Behrman's dream in the lesson, The Last Leaf? Behrman's, I'm sorry, spelling error. Please for, uh, excuse me. Behrman's dream, Behrman's dream was to paint a masterpiece. What, what, what was his dream? His dream was to paint a masterpiece. 
then the python's weakness as perceived by the grandfather was what was his weakness reflection his weakness was reflection the person who pl who plants a tree plants cool shade and tender rain so obviously the statement itself says that it's a true statement how did suresh defend himself when shorab asked him about the unfair distribution of the property in the lesson daughter suresh defended himself when shorab asked him about the unfair distribution of property by saying that there was nothing wrong with the distribution as deepa had her job at the travel agency that's paying her 10000 rupees per month along with an expense account so that's more than enough to defend say, uh, defending says that it was the unfair distribution of the property then uh, which day is the most important to helen keller 3rd march 1887 was most important day for helen keller because her teacher Miss Sullivan came to live with her on the day. If any corrections, kindly mention in the description box. What is special about uh, comment box? Sorry, what is special about the houses in Greenwich Village, as described in the last leaf? These houses had Dutch attics and and eighteenth century gables. Eighteenth century gables. Last question. the flag of breezes means a flag in the wind or the trees is like a flag so what's the answer the trees the trees like a flag so these are the two marks questions now answer any two of the following questions in a paragraph five marks each so you are going to attempt here only two questions out of three four questions write just a paragraph or maximum one page What was Behrman's masterpiece, according to Sue, in the last leaf? The last leaf takes place during the second decade of the twentieth century in New York City's Greenwich Greenwich Village, and has and has its central characters as an old artist that is Behrman, whose path crosses with that of a young artist John C, and who gives her an incentive to live. when she becomes seriously ill a third artist sue is another young woman with whom john c lives john c contracts pneumonia and is convinced that she will die when the last of the leaves have fallen from a tree that she can see outside of a window sue wishes she could do something to help a friend but she is powerless to do anything that would alter her fate the last leaf however never seems to fall behrman's last painting becomes a true masterpiece because of its realism it was so true to life that it fooled everyone but especially john c because she was the one he had done the painting for she is the only one for whom he had done the painting if the painting had not so masterfully depicted the last leaf holding on holding holding on to life on the withering ivy vine john c would not have been convinced and in a despair she would have given herself over to death in addition the painting is remarkable because it becomes evident later that the frail old man had gone outside to face the most atrocious weather most atrocious weather conditions to paint the last leaf the leaf the fact that he could even paint a precisely in such a storm makes his rendition so much more phenomenal next question describe the chaos created by the arrival of the python in the house as seen in all creatures great and small the grandfather was fond of unusual pets one day he brought a python for 6 rupees from a snake charmer he slung it across his shoulders and walked home grandmother nearly fainted at the sight of the python curled around his throat she insisted that her husband find the men and have the python returned to him so grandfather grandfather placed it in a steep sided tin tub in the bathroom and went to bring the snake charmer he returned crestfallen as he was unable to locate the men grandfather went to the bathroom to take the python to the jungle but it had slipped through the 
bathroom window the reptile made its appearance after a few days aunt mabel was about to pluck a guava when she spotted this 20 foot long python this 20 foot long python looking looking at her quickly as though as though it would demo it would it would devour her soon it began to make soon it began to make a series of a series of appearances often in unexpected places just a minute It was found the next morning on the dressing table, gazing at his reflection in the mirror. Later, it peeped at Aunt Mabel from the from under the cushion. The entire household tried to locate it at different places. Finally, finally, a cage was set up with a mirror at one end. Juicy chicken with other de other delicacies was placed inside the cage. The fight the python was finally trapped and released into the jungle. And it was still enraptured with its own reflection in the mirror. Next question we have here. Deep, third question. Deepa's brothers are the only extension of the father's mindset in the lesson. Deepa in the lesson. Daughter explain. The story daughter is written by Lata Jaktiani, Mumbai based author. In this story, she brings out patriarchal system where daughters are not given much importance in the family. It also portrays inequality, gender bias, despite of the laws. Suresh Will was read after his death by Shorab, a lawyer. Four sons and Deepa were called at Shorab's office at the Oval. According to the will, Deepa will be given the sum of seven lakhs, which is really, which is already nominated to her in the form of Reserve Bank of India bonds. The rest of the estate must be divided equally among among his four sons, the brothers were neither surprised nor alarmed after hearing the will. Rakesh, Suresh firstborn, stretched his legs forward, yawned out aloud, lazily gathered his briefcase and strengthened and strengthened uh, sorry strengthened his shirt. The other three quickly pushed the chairs back, stood up, and went towards the door. When they reached the door, Rakesh stood up. Whenever Deepa used to express her desire to join her father's house. He always neglected her question. Her brothers never supported her, though she was qualified and secured more marks than her brothers. Neither his father, neither her father, nor, nor her four brothers attempted to brighten her future. Her dry tears showed a kind of pathos of girl child who is neglected in our educated society fourth question we have here narrate the circumstances that made narrator felt repentance and sorrow in the story my teacher the present excerpt my teacher is taken from helen keller's autobiography the story of my life published in 1903 it's an inspiring story of a person who discovered the world through her fingertips with the help of a great and, ded and dedicated teacher this remarkable story of her teacher Annie Sullivan and her student Helen Keller has been told throughout generations. One cannot mention one name without thinking of the other, since the two lived and worked together interdependently for decades until Sullivan's death in 1936. Why Helen had a tussle over the words MEG, Mug, WTR, Water, Miss Sullivan had tried to impress it upon her that MUG is mug and that WATER is water. But Helen persisted in confounding the two. In despair, in despair, she had dropped the subject for the time, only to renew it at the first opportunity. She became impatient at her repeated attempts and seizing the new doll, she dashed it upon the floor. She was keenly delighted when she felt the fragments of the broken, do broken doll at her feet. Neither sorrow nor regret followed her passionate outburst. She had not loved the doll in the still, in the still dark world in which she lived. There was no strong sentiment or tenderness. She felt repentance and sorrow. 
so friends this is how i have tried to solve the question paper of bnu bangalore north university uh, 2022 question paper as well as a practice paper for bangalore university students so friends thank you so much i wish you good luck for the forthcoming examination thank you once again dear friends thank you so much for watching this video you can reach me at mukesh english at the rate of gmail.com please do subscribe the channel click on the like button for more videos on literature workbook pronunciation grammar communication skills presentation skills interview skills stay in tune with mukesh english thank you once again